What's up, Mavletic lovers and listeners, and welcome back to a brand new season of Maverick Post Game. We've got another full show for you today as Mesa Men's Soccer plays an incredible game against Simon Fraser. And women's soccer ends in a tie after an intense game. Not to mention, women's volleyball team kills their matches. And the women's tennis wins three titles after a successful weekend competition. All of that and so much more as we move ahead into this recap-packed episode of Maverick Post Game. So with that being said, I'm your host, Grace Metcalf. And I'm Stone Quinn. Let's get into all the game-breaking stats, off-the-wall wins, heartbreaking losses, and in-depth analysis of our CMU Athletics. Roll it! Hello everyone, once again I am Stone Quinn and I am Grace Metcalf. Let's hop right in and take a look at all the Mavtastic action that took place this week here at CMU. The Colorado Mesa men's soccer team ran their win streak to four games after a 3-1 victory over the Simon Fraser Red Leafs this past Saturday. Both teams felt each other out for the first 25 minutes, with Colorado Mesa coming out the aggressors, firing off seven shots to the Red Leafs one. Then a foul in the box led to the first goal of the game. Neither team made much happen heading into halftime. The Mavericks outshot the Red Leafs 11-2 in the half, with Simon Fraser outfouling the Mavericks 9-4. Just after the break, the Mavericks would go up 2-0 on a goal from freshman Manuel Ponce Casas in the 49th minute. Simon Fraser kept things interesting as Alan Camacho Soto put them on the board in the 60th minute and cut the Maverick lead to 2-1. Camacho Soto scored off a corner kick from Ali Zohar that crept across the goal line just beyond the arm of Maverick goalie Connor Durant. Colorado Mesa would get the goal back on an early nomination for goal of the year. In the 84th minute, Ponce Casas picked up the sixth goal of the year and second of the game to put the deficit out of reach at 3-1. As a team, the Mavericks outshot Simon Fraser on the evening 21-9 and forced Red Leaf goalie Justin Sandhu to make eight saves. Durant made four saves for the Mavericks and earned the win in net. In the end, Simon Fraser outfouled the Mavs 12-5, but also managed to achieve one more corner kick than the Mavs. Colorado Mesa University's Michaela Ecker and Haley Klasner both scored go-ahead goals, but saw the Lubbock Christian University Lady Chaperals answer back each time to forge a 2-2 tie in the NCAA Division II South Central Regional Women's Soccer action this past Saturday afternoon. Overtime is not played in NCAA regular season matches the year after a summer rule change. Ecker's goal came early, just over four minutes in off an assist from Myra Huck and was fired in from the top of the penalty area. The Mavs then played with the lead for the rest of the first half and until nearly the hour mark when LCU equalized the game in the 60th minute. The Mavericks would go ahead 2-1 less than 11 minutes later on LCU's goal, but held the lead for just a minute three before LCU scored again. Maverick goalkeeper Chloe Doughty made five saves in the net for the Mavericks and is now 2-2-1 on the season. As a team, the Mavericks had a wide 29-14 advantage in total shots and a 15-7 edge in shots on goal. The Mavericks total was the most LCU had surrendered since 2014. The Mavs' 11 to LCU's five corner kicks helped contribute to the exceeding number of shots the Mavs obtained. The Colorado Mesa University volleyball team bounced back quickly and took advantage of the home crowd to defeat visiting Westminster College in the Mavs' home opener last Friday night in Bronson Arena. Outside hitters Sierra Hunt and Sydney Leffler combined for 21 of the Mavs' 43 kills to lead the offensive charge. Hunt and had 11 kills and hit .5, while Leffler put down 10 kills on a .222 hitting effort. Meanwhile, setter Sabrina Vandalist tallied 34 assists while recording three kills of her own. Redshirt senior Kirsten Libero tallied a match-high 15 digs to lead the Maverick, Mavericks back row. 
In the opening frame, the Mavs hit .214 and jumped out to a 5-0 lead and never trailed but building the lead to 13-5 before gradually extending it to as many as 10 points. They did commit five of their seven surface aces in the opening frame, but took advantage of nine Griffin hitting errors and the visitors' negative .097 first set hitting percentage to easily win. As a team, the Mavericks hit .293 as a team while sweeping the Griffins 25-16, 25-12, 25-18, to improve to 6-3 and three overall and to 1-1 one on one in the loop. The Mavs dominated in every statistic, but especially in kills, 43-23 points, 55-29, and assists, 38-19. The Colorado Mesa women's tennis team turned in an impressive effort over the weekend at the MSU Denver Invitational. Sophomore McKenna Livingston and newcomer Christian Thomas won their respective singles draws while Thomas teamed with fellow freshman Jane Stewart to take the B doubles title. Livingston was a perfect 5-0 throughout the weekend, teaming with Izzy Komen for a pair of doubles victories while winning a singles competition. In doubles, Livingston and Komen defeated Colorado College's Olivia Dix and Maddie Miser 6-2 in the opening quarterfinal round and were then 6-4 winners over Hannah Haber and Marie Cole of MSU's Denver in the semifinals. At the end of the weekend, the Mavericks had won three titles. Now that we have recapped some of the games, it's time to announce our Maverick of the Week. Our Maverick of the Week goes to Colorado Mesa's cycling team. The Mavericks have finally won the Collegiate Varsity Track National Om Omnium for the first time in program history with the historic triumph they snapped the 16-year winning streak of Marion University, who have won the, the event since 2006. Congratulations, cycling team, for your outstanding performance. You are all our Mavericks of the Week. We are now at the end of our show, and it is time for our closing statements. My closing thought is on how excited I am to start this new season of Maverick Post Game. I'm super excited to start going to different games and film some incredible highlights and do more segments for the show. Uh, it is super exciting. My closing thoughts are on how well all our teams are already performing and we've only just started. I can't wait to see how all the athletes have in store for us to come on here and share with the school. That is an ex excellent point. Now that we have wrapped up all the action from this week and given our closing thoughts, it is time to close the show. Thank you everyone so much for joining us this week on Maverick Post Game. I've been your host, Grace Metcalf. And I've been Stone Quinn. Be sure to go check out our channel 62.2 for more games and updates. We'll catch you next week on an all new recap packed episode of Maverick Post Game. Stay safe Mavs, study hard, go to a game or two, and of course, have yourselves a Mace Amazing Day.